a large majority of the people in the United States believe that homosexuality is wrong. What is morally wrong with homosexuality? Well, we're very fortunate this evening to have a very special guest who has been giving a speech all over the United States on just that topic. What is morally wrong with homosexuality? Our guest today is a teaching assistant at the University of Texas in the philosophy department named John Corvino. John, Hello, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Consider the fact that right now there are thousands of people across the world having sex. This is a little bit disconcerting when you think about it, especially when you realize that you're stuck here listening to me. <laughs> As a result of drink drinking Diet Coke, you will lose more water from your body than you will gain. It rids your body of water. Caffeine. We all know that the purpose of drinking, though, is nutrition and hydration. <laughs> it's obvious. This is perfect. Get this away from me. This is perfect. I think the way gay and lesbian people are treated in our society is wrong. Not just irrational, but morally wrong. And I want you, as a gay taxpayer, to pay me to teach that to students. I'd be crucified. But you see, I do that as a gay taxpayer. I mean, taxpayers pay for all kinds of courses that they don't necessarily support or agree with. You know, I'm sometimes criticized by people within the gay community. They ask me, why do you engage with opponents of same-sex marriage? And I get and, the same thing. Yeah, and, I, and, and it's like, you know, and how do you do this over and over and over again? And the answer is really simple. I drink. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> You said that if I allow marriage for same-sex couples, then why not polygamy? And no, I think no, the gender not. of so the partners see, and I, the number I'm of the partners I'm trying to have an intelligent two different things. What always happens when it comes to the marriage issue is people are bullied. I, I am being, I'm making extremely calm, cogent I'm arguments. I'm bullying you? I get the fact that you want people to take seriously the awesome responsibility of the creation of new life. You want mothers and especially fathers to stick around for the new life that they create and provide uh, loving homes for their offspring. I get that, and we, we've talked about that. And, and of course, you know, I don't believe that marriage equality means that there's no important moral difference between these different kinds of relationships. I think what it means is that they deserve equal treatment under the law. To go into a locker room and not have to undress in front of someone of the opposite biological sex, it's common sense. What's the answer to that, John? The idea that this is about safety and security, it's kind of like when somebody says that they ate all the ice cream in order to make room in the freezer. I mean, it's just obvious that that's not the real reason. Hi, I'm John Corvino. Hi, I'm John Corvino. Hi, I'm John Corvino. You know, some people object to same-sex relationships on the grounds that they're unnatural. But what does that mean and why does it matter? I think the most important thing we can do as gay and lesbian people is to let society know that we're here that we're here and that we're a part of it. We're not those people, we're here. And we're their doctors and their lawyers and their judges and their politicians and their social workers and their teachers and their nuns and their rabbis and their priests and their ministers. We're here and we're valuable and we're not going to apologize for something that's not wrong. And we're not going to hide something that we have no reason to be ashamed of. I'm asking you to judge people, not on whom they love, but on whether they love. That's my moral vision. That's my agenda. And I thank you for listening so patiently to it tonight. You've been a great audience. Thank you very much.